Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be bringing to you the best dinosaur to tame on Aberration. Now as always, let me just throw my disclaimer out there. These are the best dinos I've done, in my opinion, to tame on Aberration. There may well be better dinos that you can tame on other maps and bring over, but I'm just doing dinos for each map that you can tame on each map. I'm close to finishing this mini-series now, and we have all the other videos on my channel. So if you're playing on a certain map and you're interested in what dinos to tame, go check that out. And as always guys, thank you so much for the continued support. We're still growing every single day and it's honestly amazing. If you do enjoy the videos, please remember to leave a like and so on. And remember Genesis 2 comes out very soon. I'm going to be bringing out as many guides for that as possible. I'm also going to be doing a PvP series and seeing how far we can get. So make sure you stick around for that. But anyway, that's enough of me yakking. Let's get into the video. Number 1. For our first spot on this list, I've put the Roll Rat. These are going to be more of an early tame dino when you're on Aberration, and they're relatively easy to tame. Once you've got a saddle on these guys, their name comes into force and you can roll all around the map. You haven't got to be worried too much about obstructions because it will break rocks, smash trees, and knock other dinos out the way. Their sheer speed makes them one of the best dinos for this map early on, and even later game really. These guys can also hold 6 people, so if you're playing with your friends and you want to explore the map, a roll rat's not only going to get you around quickly and safely, you're also all going to have a lot of fun doing it. Although not the strongest dino on this list, if you do have to stay and fight something, their knockback can be very helpful, and they're definitely not weak. A few points in melee damage will make them quite a strong dino. They're also arguably the best dino on this map for gathering wood, and wood you do gather with it will have a big weight reduction in its inventory. So keep that in mind when you're farming your resources. Number 2 for our second spot, we have the Shinehorn. Well, actually, we have the four glow animals. That's the Bulb Dog, the Glow Tail, the Shinehorn, and the Featherlight. But I feel like if you choose anything other than the Shinehorn, you're weird. So all of these guys can alert you if there's a max level wild creature in the area. You can also set them to alert you if there's a player in the area. When you enable their glow is when they really start looking pretty. And this is crucial to your time and aberration to stop you from getting munched on by the Nameless. They're all shoulder pets, so they're gonna sit on your shoulder. So whichever one of these guys you choose is going to be your trusty sidekick. Choose the shine on or else. Number 3. Next up, we have the Ravager. Another more of an early to mid game dino. Again, these guys are pretty fast. They can also jump pretty high, which means you can traverse a lot of the terrain that you once couldn't. A big reason why these guys are so popular early game is because even though they're small, they can hold a lot of weight. They also have a big weight reduction for a lot of resources. This makes them great because they can carry so much, yet still be so fast. And they can always take out dinos a lot bigger than themselves where they're so strong. Another great thing is that they barely take any full damage, which can be very handy on a map like Aberration that's so vertical. If you want to tame more than one, they also get a pack bonus, which again, makes them even stronger. Another great thing about these guys is that they can climb along these zip lines. This could be very handy early game when you're trying to get around the map. So they can climb the natural zip lines of Aberration, and you can even make your own zip lines and your Ravager will climb that as well. That means at any location as possible when you're on a Ravager. Number four. Now they obviously have to be on every Aberration list, but for this spot, we have the Megalosaurus. So because it's always nighttime on Aberration, these guys will always get their nighttime buff. And as you can see by this level, this wasn't even the best Megalosaurus I could tame, but once leveled up, his hits are absolutely insane. And to be honest, there really is nothing that touches these guys on this map. They can also carry smaller dinos in their mouth like so. Once they're in its mouth, you can chew on them to kill them, or you could just carry them around to annoy people. If you have a tribesmate to help you, you can also use this for taming because you could hold it in its mouth while your tribe mate tranks it and knocks it out. There really is nothing that will touch the Megalosaurus on this map. So, if you want to be feared by the locals, go and get yourself a Megalosaurus. Number 5 For our 5th spot, we have without a doubt the coolest dino on this list, and that is the Rock Drake. They're not technically a tame, instead you have to steal their eggs from the nests. So as you can see, these guys will climb any obstacle you put in front of them, and they can even hang upside down. And up until now, the Roll Rat was probably our best way to get around this map, but now, these guys just knock them out of the park. So they're extremely quick, they also have another cool feature, and that is so they can cloak. And that is supposed to make them invisible, and it kind of does if you're not moving. Either way, it's a very unique feature, and you can use it to spy on your prey, or if you're trying to hide from something. Either way, it's very unique. 
Once they're leveled up, if you put a few points into melee damage, they're also pretty strong. They'll take out most things in just a few hits, but you do need a decent base level one for these guys to be any good for melee damage. When flying or gliding on a rock drake, they feel kind of similar to griffins, in terms of you go down to build up speed, when you level out they'll slow down, but they can also shoot themselves at terrain as you slow down to grab hold of. Another great feature, if you watch the top of the rock drake's head, they can tell when reapers are in the area because the hairs on their head will stand up. This makes them great for late game when you're hunting reapers. Number 6 Coming in for this spot, we have the most feared dino on this list. Or maybe I should say creature because there's no way you're counting this as a dino. And that's the reaper. Now the reaper is definitely considered an end game dino. You need a rock drake even to safely find yourself a reaper. So you're not going to be looking at one of these guys early game. But it's definitely something you need to do on this game because it's a very unique thing and it's definitely an experience. So these guys can be used for just about anything. They have great health, they also have great melee damage, so extremely strong. They don't have a saddle but they have natural armor built into them. This gives them a damage reduction and makes them extremely strong. It means they can even be used for soaking. They have a lot of attacks, they have their spin attack which will deal a lot of damage and give a massive knockback effect. They also have their tail attack where they shoot spikes from it. This covers quite a distance and these spikes will deal torpor damage as well as normal damage. More importantly, these attacks will slow things to almost a standstill. For their size, they're also very fast and they can jump, which you definitely wouldn't expect from one of these guys. And they can also jump very far. On top of all this, they can even bury themselves to hide themselves. This can be used to set up an ambush or be brought with you whilst raiding. So like I said before, they can either soak or you can keep them buried in the ground with all your good things on. The possibilities for these guys really are endless. And if you're going to play an aberration, in the end you need to aim to get yourself one of these guys. There's a lot of different styles of reaper on this map, only one type's tameable, but there's a lot of areas and a lot of different situations where you could come across one. So if you're new to aberration, it's definitely worth looking that up and learning the different types and their environments. For our last spot, in the end I did feel like it was quite good enough to put on this list. And that's because for Aberration we already have the Megalosaurus, and that's as strong as a dino as we'll ever need on land. But you do have an option if you don't want to get a Megalosaurus, and that is a Spino. So Aberration lacks Rexes and Giggers, so a Spino is up there with your next best things. Especially if you're more in starter areas, there's going to be a lot of water around there, so you can get the water buff of Spinos. But even without the water buff, a good level Spino can be very strong, and they're also fast. So I feel like the Spino is good enough to replace most of these dinos on this list if you wanted to sub it out for something, due to their speed and strength. That's going to wrap it up for this video guys, I really hope it's helped some of you out. If it has, please be sure to leave a like, and if you're new around here consider subscribing, it's a nice place to be. But for now, this has been the best dinos to tame on Aberration, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.